Have any of you accidentally said something you didn't mean because either your tongue got tied up or just because you simply said the wrong thing? Well, this is a common incident in the book that I chose to read. And the book that I chose to read was called Paperboy. And it's written by Vince Walter and it was awarded in 2014. This book is about an 11-year-old boy named Victor who has struggled with stuttering his entire life. He lives in Memphis, Tennessee in 1959 when segregation was still a big problem. He loves to play baseball in his spare time and when he's not playing baseball, he's a paper boy and delivers papers throughout the entire neighborhood. He does not enjoy talking to strangers because he's worried of what they would think about him, but throughout the book you can see how he gets more courage and gets to know more people on his route. He also tends to learn that stuttering does not define him and who he is at all. And another important character would be Ma'am. She is a black woman who works for Victor's parent and Victor sees her more as a, I don't know, would you say mother figure instead of just a babysitter. She has been a great help throughout the entire book, giving him the support that he needs and always loving him constantly while he grows up. There are many other characters in the book, but the other main character that is very important would be Victor's best friend, and his name is Rat. He is the one that gave Victor the paperboy job while he went on vacation. He, in fact, has helped Victor along this entire journey and taught him not to be afraid, just put yourself out there, and he never made fun of his speech. So by having such a great friend and having support, I think it's very important to have a support system, especially in today's society. Overall, I think this book, like I said just a few seconds ago, it's very important for today's society to read this because not everybody is perfect, and to have that great support system, it can get you by. And it just, this book, teaches you empathy and bravery, and I would definitely recommend this book for ages 12 and up. Thank you.